So um, Chuck here is doing some head measurements. So head measurements, body, uh, body length, weight, tick inspection, leg draw, uh, these are all done and reported. Everybody on the team has a role. So let's say you were kind of a gimp like me because I've got this hernia disc. I couldn't go out in the field like these guys really intensely, but I still had a job to do. I could process animals, sit there and write, um, write in tiny little blood files, the species name, their, their pit tag number, and all sorts, but there was a job for everybody. So we try to get details of like scarring, like there was a scar in that chest. And then, um, again, more blood draw. What I want to show is all the teamwork and the colors. Um, have you guys ever seen such vivacious colors on, on these type of animals? The, the colors just blew my mind. From, from one adult to another adult, it'll be more pinks, more yellows, more oranges. And by the way, writing on tiny vials like this, but I write 20 of them in a row, is writer's crap. <laughs> so, but everything we do was very important as a team. And that's one, one thing I want to take away from that. This is one of the animals we're really seeing. This is one of the snakes we caught. Um, I spotted the snake, but I wasn't quick enough to get it, so Chuck dove after it. And uh, Scott is actually, he's with the Bahamian Trust as well, and he's doing um, a study on the territory and the behavior of the snakes. And of course, Chuck wants to know why the snakes are eating his guanas. Because they do, they do go after the juveniles. And that was one of the, um, one of the issues they had when they were doing the releases throughout the years, was the juveniles were kind of disappearing and they came through further. Snakes. There was like two species of snakes they became uh, dire for. What kind of snakes were those? I think this is, I think this is a Bahamian ground bull, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a snake person. If someone else can identify it, 